Hello Paper Crafters! I have a new line for you. It's called Heartfelt Creations and it is the Classic Editions Collection, which is a fall collection just in time for fall cards for Thanksgiving and the fall season before winter gets here. And there's something new with this release is they've included uh, in their line paper that matches the stamp and the dies, which is wonderful. So here's a look. It's called the Heartfelt Creations um, Stamp Cut and Create. And this is the pad of paper. And I'm not going to show you every piece, but I am going to show you some of the beautiful, beautiful um, pe uh, designs on these papers. I'm sure that these are papers that you would just love to have in your collection little vehicle there they are double-sided paper uh, this is the back sides more patterns and and plain and colors and kind of textures while the front is more uh, the patterns that people tend to want to put on the front of cards or embellish these sides so you can kind of see the different things here very nice um, pack of paper I think for those of you who purchase it, you won't be disappointed with the quality or um, the designs on it because they match the set. Uh, the die that goes with this set is right here. I'll put it on its side. It's number HCD724, and it's all these dies you see here. And um, on the back, I'll turn it over so you can kind of see the wagon. And these dies are different things, like this can be a berry or a pine cone, I've noticed. Here's the pumpkins, there's the truck, flower pots, uh, greenery, the berry. Very nice, nice collection. The stamps, I like this collection a lot, and I think you will too. And this is number HCPC3482. We have the truck and you can put stuff in the back of the truck like a dog or you can put the dog peeking out the truck window or you can fill the back with these pumpkins and flowers the next set is HCPC 3438 with some beautiful trees some corn stalk some fit filler that looks like hay that you could put in this little wagon and also with this wagon these these kits were made to interact from the previous kit you can fill that wagon with some pumpkins as you can see and then the next set is this is a beautiful set in itself HCPC 3484 and there's pumpkins with some florals so this could fit on the back of the truck or in the back of the wagon or you could multi multiply and um, put a little bunch of little pumpkins in the back of the truck or this in the back of the truck or the wagon and uh, it would all work out to work intermittent with those and then HCPC 3485 is the um, raspberries and there's the single raspberry that cuts out and you can impose that over say that raspberry for some dimension and here's a nice little filigree set to color in and then we have HCPC 3486 got some nice berries here uh, you notice that same raspberry now can be cut out as a pine cone got some uh, of for, like leaf um, to make the veins of a leaf got that berry that you see in the fall and then the bigger part of the berry design there and then the last set is HCPC 3487 and you've got some um, filler there uh, apples apples to go in the bucket or of course we could put apples again in the back of the truck or the, the um, the wagon very nice Christmas tree and they put this Christmas tree in a pot I think you might have seen this card around in other sites and that is such a pretty little card in itself it's a very that Christmas tree stamps really cute and there's another little pot right there so those are our stamp sets now I'm going to get on to the release and this release was done by Kathy Lynn Kelsevec she did a wonderful job and again I'm I'm going out of order here with how things have been sent to me by my design team because I'm trying to get releases out in time for the holidays so you have some time to work with them. 
So my apologies to the design team members who have been patiently waiting for their releases to come out. Um, but other people who are picking the holiday ones are getting bumped ahead. But you'll all get there. And please um, email me if you're looking for stuff. I have lots of stuff that has not been out there yet. So, And I know some of you are looking for things or waiting for things. So Kathy Lynn um, never worked with Heartfelt Creations. And she wasn't sure if she'd like them. And she said she was a bit intimidated, but lo and behold, she become, she's become a huge fan. And um, that was, she did a re release before, if you remember, I stand corrected. And she was, she picked them again for her second pick. So that's how much she liked them. Um, and she hopes we're all happy with what she created. And of course we will be uh, when you see, you're gonna love it. So the front of this card, we've got lots going on, so I'll explain it as much as I can. You can see we have this very nice harvest scene. We open it up. We've got this beautiful uh, Kathy Lynn signature, a diagonal slant with a pocket with a lovely um, little card to slide in. And um, on the back, some more. Everything with Kathy Lynn, you have to look at closely because it's made to do something. Got the other side of this card where you can put a sentiment and greeting. Got things going on there. And even have the back of the card with a little um, stamp and some little uh, leaves. So let's get on to what how she made this. So the front of the card is the pumpkins and the fruit in the wagon um, right here. That is uh, the, the pumpkins and all the fruit. That is HCPC 3484, what we're selling here. And the wagon it right here is HCPC 3483. And then she masked these two stamps together to get that beautiful effect. And the um, corn stalks are HCPC 3486. And the corn stalks, she stamped the corn stalks and then cut them with the classic editions um, spellbinders. The die we're selling, the HCD 724. She used that, I'll just, it's easier for me to show you right here, this die <laughs> in the set and put them, oh, superimpose them on the corn stalks to give them this dimensional um, effect. She said that this stamp here is magnolia tilde with sunflower and i probably can order that for you special if you want any of the magnolia tilde stamps shoot me an email the die cuts are the spellbinders fancy ribbon threader and that's this die right here in the background which i can order for you special if you like and the punch is martha stewart fall leaves that's these little guys right here and the marvy oak leaf and maple punch which I believe, um, well, this might be the Martha Stewart Fall Leaves Punch, actually, now that I look at it, because uh, I do believe she has a border stamp. So this must, oh, yeah, and this is the Marvy um, um, Yukaida uh, punches right there. And after she stamped and cut the cornstalk, she dipped them in ultra thick embossing enamel to, so that they would be firm and you can see they're kind of shiny too and then she did you know her coloring that she's famous for that she does made a nice little bow there okay open it up the left side here the stamp the corn stalks right here you can see how lovely those stamp HCPC 3483 and then she put the pumpkins there HCPC 3484 colored them with Copics use that Martha Stewart's falling leaf border trim um, the tag is stamped with just right nature nested sentiments and also she used the stamp from the set HCPC 3482 to do the borders if you're looking for that that's for sale in this re release this is Spellbinders label 17 to cut the tag. I can special order that for you. And the corners are made with Fisker's Broken s Squares in EKK Scallop Photo Punch. That's these right here, right there and there. And then um, this is Decorative Layers 8, this beautiful set right here. 
I can special order that for you. It is Spellbinders dies, and she interlayered them, and that's so pretty. And all the paper used here is from the Heartfelt Creations Classic Editions um, set. And I don't think I gave you the number of that. It's HCDP1224. And she used those all these papers to make this card. So you can see these papers are beautiful. And the back is a Studio G stamp, and she put her initials in. So again, I'm just going to show you up close how beautiful that paper is there. You can see the designs in the paper. How beautiful the punches are and how nicely they color up and how nicely they stamp. Even just a plain stamp is nice. And then the front again with that beautiful wagon with all the sparkles and glitter she added to make that just so pretty. Okay, we're gonna go on to this um, wonderful, wonderful creation that she made. It's a little book she made and it's called the Green and Raspberry Book Card. She constructed the book card. If you want to know how to make one of these, just email her. I'm sure she can direct you to the site or if she designed it herself, how to do it. She distressed the edges with ink. The front of this beautiful, beautiful book card has um, the ornamental raspberries, which is right here and that is number the stamp set we're selling in this release hcpc 3485 and this little magnolia is called magnolia tilda with lovely jam and i can special order that i know i, I just ordered that for a couple of people all the coloring is done with distressed inks the die cut she used spellbinders fleur-de-lis rectangles and labels 23 Behind here is the fleur-de-lis rectangle, and this one is labels 23. I can special order those for you, um, spellbinders. The Cherry Lynn Victorian Romance Flourish Die, DL151. That's this beautiful corner here. I have that in stock. Um, probably won't after this video, but I can get more. And then uh, she used the punches, EK2 and 1 uh, flourish wave and the metal tag is from making memories vintage metal and she used ink, ink such ink such ink essentials sepia accents on top of the berries to add dimension and I just want to show you that how those berries they actually look like they're glistening from moisture and they're so sparkly and just it's just beautiful the coloring and the richness the jewel tone color and how it's with the looks like glass with the raspberry there it's very very nicely done um, and then this which is I call her trademark uh, Kathy Lynn uses this Tim Holtz die it is called finding uh, hardware findings to make this latch and I have on her last video she used one of these not the last one but a previous video um, I sold a lot of people had me special order that for them because I can special order size X but you kind of use this around here and tie it in a, a bow and it makes a nice really nice latch I just have it open now to save time for us um, and that makes such a um, beautiful card she said in case people are wondering wondering this is um, used uh, antiquities tanzanite to color the tag so we open up now you're going to be ready for a surprise you ready ta-da inside is this beautiful continuation of some three-dimensional projects and all of these wonderful Hershey nuggets so this is a gift in itself and then in the chocolate when I opened the box uh, it was smelled so much of chocolate I knew there was chocolate somewhere in here never dreamt it was in such a beautiful box so you may indeed want to get the instructions if you're gonna make some Christmas gifts for your friends or people in the office so let's get to what's here in the open book we have the ornamental berries right here and again she used that sparkly stuff to make them glisten and she used the truck and she did some dimension and if you open up the truck we got a little budster there not really it's a little too fluffy for bud but we'll call it a budster sitting in the truck isn't that cute isn't that sweet 
that is so sweet and of course this is the stamps we're all selling then we got the little dog in the back and um, she cut the truck out with the die set you can see how nicely that cuts out I want to bring that up close so you can really see how beautifully they stamp and how beautiful it cuts and um, the dogs are from the three the HCPC 3482 set and the truck um, I believe is that was that set also with the dogs and the and then of course this is the berries set right there stamp set and this is Spellbinders Marvelous Squares Layers right here, this beautiful set. And I can or special order those for you if you'd like me to. And the gems are from Hobby Lobby. And I believe these are the gems right here. You can see those beautiful gemstones. And all the paper is from the, the pad of paper I showed earlier, the HCDP1224, the Heartfelt Creations. Um, paper pack that goes with this and um, again these are the single berries remember I told you that die could cut out the pine cone or the berries so there's the beautiful berries and I'll just bring this up so you can kind of see in detail all the beautiful wonderful work into this and on the back she used right here when you close the box um, you can see how the little dog stamps by himself how cute he is see the beautifulness of this paper and she added this little scroll, which is memory box. That's the um, elegant sc scroll work die. I do have that in stock if you'd like to order it. There's that Tim Holtz die, the, the um, mechanical, um, what's that called again? The uh, hardware findings die set that I can special order. And you can just see how thick this is and what a beautiful gift that would make to give somebody. That, that is a nice, nice gift. And then the next one we have is a nice, definitely says fall, harvest crisscross card. Another Kathy Lynn beautiful trademark is uh, her crisscross cards. And I'm sure if you don't know how to make them, she can go to her blog and she'll give you directions. Uh, the front, she made the flower using the Westminster Petal Sunflower with poinsettia die cut. And I, I'm not sure what that is, so I apologize. I don't know if Westminster is a company. Um, or what to do, but if you're interested in that, uh, we can work through and figure out what that is. Uh, in the center of the flower, she used the black and orange micro beads to give it the center, and she used distressed inks for shading the flower. All the design paper is from Heartfelt Creations, the, the pack. This is the Martha Stewart Spiderweb Edge Punch, and this is the Cherry Lynn right here, this die in the background. That's B117 Fancyful Flourish, which I do have in stock. And I just want to show how this pumpkin pattern paper is in the background and how this black uh, flourish just goes right over that with this um, floral imposed on it. It's so beautiful. I was thinking I might do a bigger pumpkin on there and, and some of this in there, and that would be pretty too. And then um, the pullout, how... Kathy Lynn always has things that move the kinetic. So there's our, our nice little envelope. I'll flip it over. The back of that envelope shows that beautiful Christmas tree stamp I was telling you about and a little pot with some greenery in it. Now these are just plain on the paper. There's a little pumpkin on the back, but you can see how detailed and beautifully these stamp. Back to the harvest card because I know you're all wondering about that. Um, it's the basket. Uh, she put the apples that were loose and put them in the basket. And then she used, I'm not going to give the numbers because you guys can look those up. It just kind of takes, makes the video a little longer and tedious. She used the Spellbinders Classic Editions to cut out the pumpkins and the flowers. So the die cut that this is, she cut out these pumpkins and the, um, flowers here and those were came in the set that we um, are selling the HCD 724. The moon was stamped with an Inca Dinka Do celestial stamp. I'm not sure if I can get that. If you're really looking for that, email me. I'll see what I can do. All coloring is done with distress inks. The bottom is trimmed with a magnolia 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 doohickey heart swirl die. And I do believe I can get that die for you. The magnolia doohickey. I can get those 
and um, she colored the glossy accents on the apple and the harvest gems right here are done by studio 18 I don't know if I can get those if you can't find those and you need them email me see what I can do and also use the we are memory keepers photo chomper for the edges right here and those I know I can get they're a little pricey though and I wouldn't recommend my foreign friends getting those because they're expensive and of course these trees were part of the um, the stamp set too those were one in one of the stamp sets and then on the back of this beautiful card we have the spellbinders leafy square die cut and um, let's see um, the photo chomper and magnolia magnolia doohickey swirl die cuts um, so this I know oh the back of the tag I don't oh, this must be a, a spellbinders die that cuts out leaves it looks very similar to the Martha Stewart um, all around the page punch but I guess it's a spellbinders leafy square and then these swirls must be magnolia doohickey swirl die which I can get this is the paper that comes with the kit you can write a little sentiment in there that's so nice and that is that card and it is gorgeous send this to somebody for fall and they'll be your friend forever beautiful beautiful card Kathy Lynn the next one we have is a gray and burgundy holiday card and she took a fall release and made it into a holiday card and it's so pretty um, this door I kind of showed you it was in the paper pack and she worked with the door so in the front of the card we have the wagon with the twigs and the fruit coming out with the big berries here in the wagon she cut out with the die from the set and she also masked with the organic fillers and all the coloring is done with distress inks and the stamp sentiment is from whimsy stamps right there the die cuts are the mag this is a magnolia doohickey the paris night and that's that lamp i can get you that i've ordered that for people the cherry lynn ornamental wreath and bow right here i have that in stock just email me the cherry lynn wreath and bow and i can get that for you and Spellbinders Classic Editions, the Twigs and Fruit, that's the die set we're selling right here in this release. So that will be with this release if you purchase that die set. And you open it up and you've got more beauty. And on this side of the card, you have the pine trees and they're embossed. So they're a little thicker and not as um, crisp as that other one we saw, but when you feel them, they have a nice texture to them. And then you have the twigs and fruit on the bottom here, kind of done with some, with some again, I think glossy accents on them. And the sentiment is from Stampendous. It's called Family Season. And she used Spellbinders Label 4 right here. And Classic Editions um, HCD 724 to cut out, again, these the the berries are that's part of the die set we we have out and the cuddle bug decorative corners number two right here i don't think i can get those for you but some decorative corners and um i'm thinking that this this might be part of this cuddle bug decorative corners too because it doesn't say what that is and it looks like a corner die that she imposed on there so we go over to the other side and we have a little magnolia tilde stamp with the christmas tree and i can probably get magnolia tilde with the tree shoot me an email and then we have on the edges the die the organic fillers that that is part of that set there and the die cut is spellbinders labels two right here that magnolia tilde is in christmas tree tilde and used um, Recollections glitter adhesive dots and adhesive faux pearls for the accent. These glitter dots are really kind of cool. They're very bright and shiny. Definitely catch your eye. And then she made it so a gift card can go in, in, in tucked in there. But that 
stamp behind the gift card was stamped with the stamp from one of these uh, sets in this release and you can see how beautifully they stamp just by themselves and then let's see anything on the back of a card just original creation by Kathy Lynn beautiful card just stunning lovely gotta love these cards these loose creations Kathy Lynn makes and the last thing is not a lot to do with the stamps or the die but it's this lovely or origami box she made and all the papers were used with the pad of paper and I just want to show all the work that she put in here and she you can get the instructions from her how to make this or, origami gift box but it's so cool the lid comes off see that cool lid and this odd odd shape I just love odd shaped things not odd as in weird odd as in just unusual and rare and a little gift in there with some filler it's so pretty again thank you for the um, hand sanitizer always a good always a good gift for a nurse and you just kind of put the box together here and if you want directions again you can see Kathy Lynn's blog on how to make these I won't get too much into this because like I said a lot of this um, this die right here in the background I know that is a Cherry Lynn die flower burst doily DL221 I have that for sale and um, this little guy right here this lovely green on glitter that's a magnolia doohickey die the mistletoe die cut and I can get that special order for you and the rest of the things are EK success medallion plate punch and all kinds of brads and florals and just beautiful things she had in her collection to make the box so it just gives you a creative I another creative idea for watching the video on what you can do and make um, with the help of the design team here at Dutch Paper Crafts. I hope you enjoyed the video. Wonderful work, gorgeous, lots of ideas here, probably overwhelmed. To see them still and not moving, visit Kathy Lynn's blog for and also for directions and ask her any questions. My design team loves to have you visit their blogs and leave some comments for them. Thank you very much for viewing and taking um, the time to watch this and giving me some of the time of day. You take care everyone and happy, happy crafting. Take care. Bye-bye.